Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I just wanted to show you how I created this beautiful, beautiful butterfly card. I absolutely love it and I think it'll make a perfect Mother's Day card. Uh, it's just, it's so springy and bright and um, you're just, you know, when you look at it you just want to smile and that's how I feel when I look at my mom. She is super fabulous and she's definitely my amazing mother. So. Let me just get started and show you how I created this card. I started with a crumb cake card base and I actually stamped the hardwood on the front. So I stamped this giant um, background image, which is the hardwood, uh, wood grain sort of look, and I stamped that in crumb cake on the background of crumb of a crumb cake card base. Then, uh, for each of the little circles, I used a two inch circle punch. And then I also used my butterfly punches, the elegant and the bitty butterfly punch. So I'm just going to take the elegant butterfly punch and I'm going to punch it on some cardstock. Uh, the colors that I used for this is uh, Hello Honey, Delightful Dijon, Calypso Coral, and watermelon wonder. So now I have my big butterfly punched out of there and then I'm going to take my two inch circle punch and I'm just gonna line up that butterfly in the center of that circle and punch. And so that's what I did for all of my bases. You can see each of these are all punched with that big butterfly. Then for the big butterfly stamp, I just took a two inch whisper white circle, punched it out, and I took the butterfly stamp set that I used is the uh, Papillon Potpourri stamp set, that's this one here, and I used uh, the two like monarch looking butterflies, not the flower ones or the other ones, you are more than welcome to use those, um, but I used the, the big and the little of those there. So I'm going to stamp the big one here in the middle of my whisper white circle and you don't have to worry about getting it exactly I know you're probably thinking how did you line that up and it's okay so I just stamped it in the middle or what I thought was the middle so no big deal and then when you lay this down it matches up and if it were to be a little bit off then you could always you know like if you were you know more like down here or you know because as long as your butterfly is on the white. If you were more like this, you could always just trim off that little extra and no one would ever know. So, and if it's a smidge off, no one's gonna know that it didn't fit in that piece perfectly because the butterfly is actually just a hair bigger than the punch. So that's how I did the big butterflies here. So I did that in the uh, Delightful Dijon and the Calypso Coral. For the other ones, I took some of the Love Blossoms Designer Series paper, I punched out a two inch circle again the same style and then you're just going to lay that on the back and I added adhesive to the back of my circle on this side in all the spots where the butterfly wasn't uh, you'll want to make sure that you do that rather than adding it to this and then having adhesive poke through so you're just going to adhere those two together let's turn that around for you to see Adhere those two together and then stamp one of the bitty butterflies. So here I've stamped the bitty butterfly and I'm going to punch it out so you can see that there is um, a little bit of extra. So the butterfly stamp is actually a smidge bigger and that's why you can um, not have to worry so much about getting it in that circle. So now we're just going to punch the little guy out. He's bound to go flying if I'm on camera. So. I made sure to hold that there. And then I added some of this gold thread on the background. And I am super excited at how that turned out on this card. I feel like I've done those loops of gold thread before and it's kind of been a little bit odd looking, I feel like. So for this one, I just took the gold thread and I wrapped it around three fingers quite a few times. I don't know, I would say like 15 to 20 maybe. And then trimmed it off. And then I just took the loops just like this and brought them together and did a little twist in the middle and then set it on the back of my little bitty butterfly. And I used a little bit of the edge 
of my Stampin' Dimensionals just to place it over the top of all of that. So there you can see I have the Stampin' Dimensionals um, or the little edge of the Stampin' Dimensional that I used here on the back holding all of those little threads and I'm just going to peel this off and stick it right in the center of that punched out butterfly. Just like that. That is how I created all of that. And I just, I super love it. I think it's so much fun and it's really pretty and colorful. You could do it with any color combination. The greeting I used is actually from the Greatest Greeting stamp set. This is in the Occasions mini catalog. And it has, um, it also has World's Greatest Guy, which is perfect for Father's Day. And then it says My Amazing Mother. So I love these greetings. I just added little banner tips to the ends um, and added that to my project. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you love butterflies. I always think they look so springy and fabulous, which is perfect for this time of year. And I hope you try this card out yourself. Of course, I'll be posting more pictures of this on my blog, laurastamppad.com. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Thursday and sometimes a few in between. So um, be on the lookout for that. And I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.